Hey there, I'm down here in San Jose de Cabo. It's a pretty nice day down here. It's going to be up in the 70s. It's better than being up in the 40s and rainy in Portland. So I decided to come down here and get my residency permit. I'll talk more about that later. But basically just hang out in Cabo for a couple weeks and work here. Enjoy life. So I'm staying at an Airbnb. It's a budget Airbnb. It's just off the Art Walk area, just south of uh, Plaza... Uh, Plaza Mejeras in San Jose de Cabo. It's uh, not a fancy area. You have no view of the beach here, but it's a solid place. I like it. It's um, a nice sort of loft area. We'll give you a tour of it. The reason I stay down here is twofold. Uh, one is, well, threefold. One is, I like this area. I don't really care about the beach. I like being uh, near the art area. And this is two blocks off, easy walk easy access to coffee and all the restaurants down here. A really fun area. Less touristy than um, than, San, uh, than the other Cabo, uh, what is that, Cabo San Lucas. And the other, the other two reasons I stayed here is because one, they were willing to work with me to help me get my residency because when you're getting residency in Mexico, you have to show that you're living somewhere in Mexico, which, you know, Airbnb count, but you have to get proof of that. And some Airbnb hosts didn't want to work with me on that, so I didn't stay there. The other reason is, and this is paramount to the digital nomad lifestyle that I'm attempting to lead right now, is that this internet is awesome. And we'll talk more about that at the end of the video. Okay, let's take a peek at the general living space here. So, quick note, if it looks messy, this is not from the Airbnb owner. This is my mess. I've been here for a week. So... It's pretty spacious. They called this a one bedroom, it's not. It's, I wouldn't even call this a studio though. This is really more of a loft with this much space. That couch isn't too bad. I do most of my work there. And frankly, this clock on the wall is sort of cool. I like it a lot. Uh, the five fell off though, I had to put it back on. They've got some nice artwork up here. It, I think it adds, actually adds to the place. I seldom care about the artwork at Airbnb, but I really like what they, the minimalist artwork they've added. These twin or two double beds, um, they're comfortable. Um, I don't think I'd really want to share the bed with anybody, and the other one's just for my clothes right now. They've got a desk here, which obviously I've just thrown my stuff on. A place to hang some stuff up on, some bins. And here's another desk, the one I actually use, although I will admit I do more work from the couch than the desk. Smallish TV, but still fine. And it's got a dresser, fan, which I haven't used. It's been quite cool here. Dining room table. And this is the kitchen. Um, if you're planning on cooking a lot of fancy meals, I'm not sure this hot plate will cut it, but this is actually a pretty decent hot plate. And I will say the pots and pans I have are new and worked with that hot plate. The refrigerator is big enough for me, a microwave if you need it, and you know, your basic bathroom. Oh, sorry, a little focusing issue here. Let me um, catch that focus. If you don't know what that little trash can next to the uh, toilet is, you'll learn when you go to South America. So the shower, the, like many places in Mexico, there's actually no hot water fed in. So the hot water for the shower is done by this kind of electrical device that adds pretty much endless hot water, although not super strong. You basically can adjust it to your desires. The tiling is nice. It's, it's a solid shower. But this channel is not really about reviewing showers. It's about reviewing Airbnb for Digital Nomad. So let's look at the download speeds. This is blazingly fast download for an Airbnb, 200 by 100. I've had no problems working here. Now you notice this is a speed check against uh, Telemax. So this is checking against a provider here in Mexico, which, you know, could be important for a lot of people, but everyone I'm working with is back up in the United States. So let's look at the comparison to what we've got going up to the United States. So here is a server in San Jose. Although not San Jose del Cabo, this one's San Jose, California. So San Jose to San Jose. This is impressive. Uh, 37 millisecond ping time all the way up to California. Uh, what, what is that? About 1,500 miles from here. Uh, download speed unchanged, basically 200 down, 78 up. This is solid speed going back to a server in the United States. So just for comparison, let's look at one on the East Coast now. So here's the East Coast. This is one in North Carolina. 
still pretty close to 200 down, 85 up, 78 millisecond ping time. These are respectable numbers. You're going to be able to zoom, uh, get stuff off GitHub, update your docs. You certainly easily work with uh, any of the cloud providers out there without any problems down here in, in this Airbnb. The uh, owners said this is the, the speed they had down here. I didn't believe them, to be honest. Uh, they they were right. Uh, I'm impressed. It's worked great. No one at work knows that I'm not in the United States until I tell them. So this has actually worked out as a great digital nomad Airbnb for me. So as you can see, this is a pretty nice place with great internet speeds. I have no trouble working from here. I've enjoyed it. I have some scenes of the neighborhood that I was going to show you, but I think that would reveal a little bit too much about where this Airbnb is, and they like to not expose exactly where the Airbnb is until you've uh, got it. But basically, it's two blocks south of Plaza Mijeras, easy access to all the fun stuff. Hope you enjoy this video. If you want to, subscribe. I could use some more. I don't get any money from this. It's just kind of fun for me. Take care, and I'll be watching for the video on getting residency in Mexico.